Welcome to the Joy of Music. Today we bring you a special program entitled Angels, Messengers of God in Art and Music. Paintings and music which, through the years, have brought us the beauty, life, and works of the unseen spirits, executing the will of God in flight from heaven to earth. Angels first appear in the Old Testament, where we learn of their role as God's servants from the very beginning of creation. Early Christian art portrayed angels as grown men or youths, but over time, artists conceived of these heavenly spirits as having halos and wings, representing virtue and innocence. The word angel is derived from the Greek word for messenger, their wings signifying their ability to fly from heaven to earth. Often, the angels come to us on wings of song. In scripture are the angels more present than in the annunciation of the birth of Christ. Luke 1 28 reads, 
And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Luke 2, 9 reads, And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. Luke 2.10 tells us, And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. From George Friedrich Handel's Messiah, we hear again the voices of angels who bring to the shepherds the message to fear not, for they are bringing an announcement of great joy, which is for everyone, at which time the angels burst forth into praise. Oh, 
Angels play a part in many events in both the Old and New Testaments. One of the most famous stories is that of Jacob's dream. Fleeing for his life from his father's house, Jacob passes a night in the wilderness. During the night he is granted a dream in which he sees a ladder set up on the earth and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. Then God comes to Jacob for the first time and promises that the land where he lies will be the inheritance of his descendants. The latter in Jacob's dream represents God's interest and concern for the world and the fact that he is involved in earthly events. In the New Testament, Jesus is identified with Jacob's ladder. He says to his disciples, In all truth, I tell you, you will see the heavens open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The story of Jacob's dream was the inspiration for the traditional spiritual Jacob's Ladder. We are climbing Jacob's Ladder, soldiers of the cross. Every round goes higher, higher. Brothers, do you love my Jesus? If you love him, why not serve him? We are climbing higher, higher, soldiers of the cross. Even though angels were not mentioned in Scripture as being part of the crucifixion of Christ, artists of the 16th and 17th centuries represent angels as ministering to the Savior, not only in spirit, but in mourning and compassion. The angels are ever-present in consoling their suffering Lord, as well as His followers who surround the cross.
Cecilia, thought to have lived in the second or third century, became recognized as the patron saint of music. One of the most famous angelic paintings is that of Carlo Saraceni, who painted Saint Cecilia with an angel. This and many other Renaissance paintings reflect musical practice of that day and present these winged beings as the celebrants of God. From the 15th to the 17th centuries, paintings of angels were abundant, and many were depicted as musicians, celebrating and portraying the praises and glory of God. From the viola and double bass, lyres and harps, trumpets, organs, and angelic choirs, they all reflect the heavenly sounds of glory, both on the earth and in heaven to come.
angels are the protectors and defenders of all who trust in God. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Today on The Joy of Music, we have brought you a program entitled, Angels, Messengers of God in Art and Music. From the Psalms, we read, Praise ye Him, all His angels. Praise ye Him, all His hosts. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on the joy of music.